eleven hundred by eleven hundred or eleven thousand. Let's see eleven hundred by four fifteen volts. Delta star transformer fed power two fed power two thirty kilowatts four fifteen volts thirty kilowatts four fifteen volts three phase induction motor and efficiency is ninety percent at full load. 0.833 lagging, 0.833 lagging, 90% efficiency. What are the rating of the transformer and line current of low voltage side? Now they are asking the low voltage side, nothing but on this side. What are the ratings they are asking? So, so what is the power here? 30 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts. What is the KVA rating? KVA rating is equals to 30 kilowatts by power factor 0 0.833 0 0.833 and of course they given the line voltage 415 volts of course they given the line voltage 415 volts now they are asking the line current what they are asking the rating and line current they are asking so rating this will be our rating what is the answer sir 30,000 by 30,000 by 0 0.833 almost uh, almost uh, 36k almost we are getting 36k so efficiency they given right sorry efficiency also they given right once calculate the input power for this this is output power for 90 percent of efficiency so efficiency is equals to output by input Efficiency is 90%. Output is 30 kilowatts. What about input? The input of the transfer input of the induction motor is output of the transformer. That is the thing here. That's why not matching here 36. Okay, let's see. Input is equals to 0, 0 cancel. Input is equals to 30 kilo into 10 by 9. This is the input power. This is the input power, which is in terms of kilowatts, which is in terms of kilowatts. Now, I want KVA. KVA is equals to 30,000 30, into 10 divided by 9 and the power factor 0 0.833. Now, calculate. You will get some answer, which is the output of the transformer, which is the output of the transformer. 30,000 into 10 divided by 9 divided by 0 0.833 which is uh, almost 40.016 which is nothing but 40 kva is the transformer output 40 kva 35 40 is there 40 is there 40 kva what about current the current 40 kva 40 kva is equals to root 3 vl into il root 3 vl into il what is vl 415 volts is the vl what is il il is equals to 40016 by 40016 by root 3 into 415 root 3 into 415 can you tell me what will be the answer 45 or 55 so need to calculate sir need to calculate sir 40016 divided by 415 96 divided by root 3 55.6 something 55.67 i got 55.67 here 50.65 is there 55.65 is there this is somewhat lengthy question but few questions out of 70 or out of 100 four or five questions will be there like a lengthy questions which are trickiest nothing is there just induction motor details they given Induction motor efficiency they given, induction motor power output is given, just calculate the input, the power input, the induction motor power input is nothing but, this is the induction motor power input which is nothing but transformer output, induction motor power input is nothing but transformer output, then KVA rating, that is what KVA rating, so KVA rating calculated. Then the KVA rating calculated from the KVA. How we can write KVA? KVA is equals to kilowatts by power factor. You will get KVA rating. 
from the KVA rating, we can calculate the current. That's it. That's it. Here, motor output. Motor output, which is nothing but, sorry, motor input. Motor input, which is nothing but transformer output KVA. Motor output, they given, we need to calculate. We need to calculate motor input. Motor input is equals to transformer output KVA. Transformer output KVA. Next. If K is the phase to phase voltage ratio, phase to phase voltage ratio of star delta. Phase star to the phase delta. Phase delta. Phase to phase voltage ratio is K. Line to line voltage ratio. Line to line voltage ratio. Star delta. Line voltage is equal to root 3 times of phase voltage and line voltage equal to phase voltage. They given line to line voltage. Now they are asking. Already they given phase to phase K. So the answer is root 3 into K. The answer is root 3 into K. Simple. Next. Delta star transformer has a delta star transformer has a voltage ratio of A is to 1. Which voltage ratio? Delta phase voltage to the star phase voltage. Delta phase voltage to the star phase voltage is A is to 1. Then the line to line voltage ratio. The line to line voltage ratio of star delta. Now they are asking star delta. Star and delta. Star and delta. Star and delta. What is the answer? The star voltage line of star voltage is equal to root 3 times of phase of the star voltage. In star line voltage is equal to root 3 times of phase voltage. In delta line voltage equal to phase voltage. Line voltage equal to phase voltage. Phase of star by phase of delta. Phase of star by phase of delta. This is phase of delta by phase of star. That is phase of star by phase of delta. Reverse, just reverse. So root 3 into 1 by A root 3 into 1 by a already previously they given k now they given a that's it we already discussed like a question next the load carried by open delta connection the load carried by open delta connection is how much times root 3 times the kva of open delta is equals to 1 by root 3 times of kva of delta 1 by root 3 times what is 1 by root 3 times 57.7 percent of original load and open circuit test some losses and efficiency question sir losses question open circuit test performed at 50 heads as shown in figure below vf ratio ad current losses stis losses the variation of loss or frequency as a function of frequency as a function of the as a frequency the variation of core loss this is core loss by frequency core loss by frequency as a function of frequency core loss by frequency as a function of frequency nothing but this is y axis and this is x axis core loss by frequency is a function of frequency the hysteresis and eddy current losses at 25 edges now they are asking at 25 edges the hysteresis and eddy current losses Simple sir, first of all, y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c. y is equals to w naught by f is equals to m. m is the slope. m is the slope. What is the slope? Change in y axis by change in x axis. What is the change in y axis? The change in y axis is, the change in y axis is, the change in y axis is phi. What is change in x axis? What is change in x axis? The change in x axis is the change in x axis is 50. What is the slope? Slope is nothing but change in y axis by change in x axis. So 5 by 50, which is nothing but 5 by 50, which is nothing but 1 by 10. M is a 1 by 10. Plus 1 by 10 into x, x is the frequency. Plus c, c is a constant. So let's do W naught is equals to 1 by 10 into F square plus 10 into F. 
अकॉर्डिंग टू अस डब्ल्यू नॉट इज इक्वल टू बी एफ स्क्वायर प्लस ए एफ बी एफ स्क्वायर प्लस ए एफ वाई इज इक्वल टू अफकोर्स एम एक्स प्लस सी बट अकॉर्डिंग टू अस आयरन लॉसेस इज इक्वल टू बी एफ स्क्वायर प्लस ए एफ सो बी एंड ए इज देयर लेट्स कैलकुलेट हिस्टोरिसस लॉसेस हिस्टोरिसस लॉसेस इज इक्वल टू ए एफ ए इज अ 50 ए इज अ 50 एंड एफ इज अ 10 50 into 10 is a 500. Sorry, A is 25, right? Because they are asking at 25 edges. 25 into F is a 10. Now we are calculating at 25 edges. We are calculating at 25 edges. So 250. All are 250. 250. 250. 250. Only 2 questions. Sorry, only 2. What about eddy current losses? B F square. What is b? B is a one by ten. F square is a twenty five into twenty five. Twenty five into twenty five is six twenty five. Six twenty five by ten. Six twenty five by ten. Six twenty five by ten is a sixty two point five. Is a sixty two point five. Sixty two point five. Simple question. But y is equal to m x plus c. M is a slope. M is a slope which is change in y axis by change in x axis. That is important for us. Based on that, we calculated A and B. Based on that, you can calculate hysteresis and eddy current losses very easily. Last question: A single phase transformer has maximum efficiency of ninety-five percent. Maximum efficiency is how much? Ninety-five percent, which is at which is at ninety percent of load. Which is at ninety percent of load. The efficiency at ninety percent of load. Its efficiency at no load. What is the no load efficiency? Generally, the no load efficiency is zero percent. So the no load efficiency is zero percent. Only one option is there. What is efficiency at full load? Efficiency at full load. Generally, good efficiency. But already they given at ninety percent of load. At ninety percent of load, efficiency is maximum. Efficiency is maximum, which is ninety five percent. Which is ninety five percent. Then at full load, ultimately efficiency not more than ninety five percent. Even not equal to maybe even not equal to ninety five percent. Because this is already they told you that maximum. The, there is no any two maximums, only one maximum. That is the maximum. Then it will be less than ninety five, less than ninety five, less than ninety five. These are the few questions on transformer losses and sorry, ah, uh, three phase transformers based. Few more questions I will give you.